Hey guys, like the way help here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you guys a few iPhone settings I never recommend turning off on your iPhone. These will be based on a lot of comments and questions that I get on social media as well as here on YouTube of certain settings that you guys want to turn off and I don't necessarily recommend turning them off. So again, iPhone settings you should never turn off on your iPhone. So first, let's talk about notifications. One of the most popular comments I get is how to turn off the Amber Alerts on the iPhone. Now with Amber Alerts, we also have Emergency Alerts and Public Safety Alerts. I recommend never turning these off because of course these are very, very beneficial. They can benefit a lot of people, including yourself. It is entirely up to you if you wanna turn them off. Again, that's gonna be under Notifications all the way down. Amber Alerts, Emergency Alerts, and Public Safety Alerts. But I always recommend keeping those on, never turning them off on your iPhone. Now, another great feature for Apple Watch Watch users is fall detection. Now this feature resides in the Apple Watch application. If we head on over to Emergency SOS, you see fall detection. Now this setting is off by default and I recommend turning it on and never turn it off on your Apple Watch. Now fall detection of course will help detect if you fail and you're unconscious. It can contact emergency services automatically. Now while the service isn't perfect sometimes it can get activated depending on what you're doing it is an awesome setting and something that i recommend turning on again it is off by default and i recommend turning it on whenever you have the chance if it supports your apple watch and it's a great setting to save lives as well next i want to talk about a setting within the camera application so let's head on over to the camera extension and oftentimes i get the question on how to turn off smart hdr to save memory or space on your device now a lot of people have the common misperception that if you turn this off you'll save memory on your iphone and that is just not true smart hdr simply grabs all of the exposures in one single shot combines them to give you the best shot possible. Smart HDR, no smart HDR, as you can see here by these two photos here. So I always recommend never turn off smart HDR on your iPhone. Now, last but not least, I wanna talk about iCloud Keychain. Now this one is the settings that a lot of users ask about as well as under iCloud settings here, all the way at the bottom. Now iCloud Keychain, this one saves all of your passwords throughout all of your iOS devices, including Mac. So you don't have to remember your passwords. You can use Face ID or Touch ID to automatically autofill all of your passwords across the entire ecosystem, right? Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS. Now a lot of users do not want their iPhones to remember their passwords, but keep in mind if you turn off iCloud Keychain, you will always have to remember all of your logins across the entire ecosystem because of course, the keychain will be turned off. A lot of users do ask about that one. That one is entirely optional. I always keep it on because I can't remember all of my logins for everything. So it's just a lot easier to keep it on and just have all of those at my fingertips if I have Touch ID or Face ID. And those are some of the settings I recommend you never turn off on your iPhone. Let me know if you have any additional questions, any additional settings that you may want to turn off. Leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching today's video, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.